Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not completely sure what I'm filming at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to do kind of like a vlog style video. I just got out of the shower. I haven't done much today. Um, what's the time? It's 12 o'clock, so it's midday. I just feel like I've been cleaning all morning. Um, I did a lot of cleaning in this beauty room. It probably doesn't look like it because there's like a coffee and there's shapes back there from yesterday. But I cleaned this room so well. Um, I washed all those brushes yesterday. This is like my backdrop. Like that's what you guys see when I'm filming. Um, this is like my little study area. <laughs> I've got some cleaning products over there because I used them yesterday. And I did organize this little drawer thing. I'll show you. So these are the drawers here. I don't remember where I got this from. I believe my like sister-in-law actually gave it to me as a gift from one of her friends, but I can't remember for the life of me where it's from, but I've had it forever. I thought I would pull this out and put makeup in it that I kind of want to use up um, and that I use like kind of on a daily basis for work because I don't really care what I look like at work to be honest So I just put some favorites some things are not my favorites Just things that you know, I've really used up and I want to kind of get through You know kind of like my own secret project pan I guess like this Kmart powder is completely demolished, but I do use it all the time So I just keep it in there for my work days I thought it would be better than me trying to get to these drawers back here don't mind my little um, makeup platform. It's covered in all different stuff. Um, I guess I'll give you guys just a quick overview of my beauty room. So this is the back wall to my beauty room. Um, Jared got me this frame or canvas from a fantastic furniture. Maybelline actually gave me this mirror. So I've just put it up there. I didn't want it in the background anymore only because the reflection kind of annoys me when I'm like editing because the camera goes in and out of focus. I got these um, drawers from just like a local furniture shop and they were just called wardrobe inserts they're so much cheaper than like Alex drawers or whatever this is where I film this is where I'm sitting at the moment on this cushion this is the floor the house came with it was covered in paint so we thought we would leave it until we decide what we want to do with the floor I think we'll eventually put floorboards in here but yeah we didn't really want to rush um, ripping this all up when we didn't know what we wanted to do exactly. Got some cupboards over there. And this is my backdrop. This is what you guys see, obviously, without the brushes and the water bottle. And you guys don't see that because it kind of cuts off. I've got a light up here Jared mounted for me. It's funny how glamorous it can look on camera. And then when you guys see the whole thing, you're like, uh, this is what it looks like. But anyway, I think I'm going to go to Kmart today. I'm going to put on some makeup, just a little bit. I say a little bit, but I don't know. It depends if I want to play around with some makeup. We'll see how I feel. Um, I'll straighten my hair. It's very clean. That's why it's so fluffy at the moment. It looks dirty in camera, but it doesn't matter. This video is not going to be focused on me doing my makeup. So yeah, if you guys want to know any questions on what I'm using, um, just ask me and I'll let you know. But I'm taking the Pro filter foundation by Fenty. This is the one I showed in my haul and it looked really light, but it does kind of match me when I'm like pasty. I want to buy some unnecessary shit from Kmart today. It's not that unnecessary, but I know I will pick up stuff I don't need while I'm there. I want to get some kind of cheapy bedding only because I want to get a new bed frame and I want to get a new mattress. So I don't want to spend too much on bedding these days for like my queen because I want to upgrade to a king. So every time I need new sheets or new bedding, I just go to Kmart, get some cheapy stuff until we can get our new bed, which we've just been lazy and we need to organize it. But I've pretty much picked what I want. Um, I did pick a bed at Super Amart. I just want to see what Jared thinks of it because like we kind of always pick together. I also want to buy an air fryer. I don't know. I've been seeing everyone use an air fryer lately and I feel like I just need one, but I feel like it's going to be a mistake because I'm just going to be eating hot chips all the time because they look like they get so crunchy in there and I really, I really want to make hot chips myself. So maybe we can do that later today. I really need some lip balm because my lips are really, really dry. Um, I'm going to go fix my hair as well.
My hair's done. I can still feel something in my eye. This is what it's looking like at the moment. I need to get um, a trim soon. My appointment's in for next Friday. Sorry, the bathroom's probably really echoey. And I'm not sure when I'll get my roots redone. I'm just trying to grow it all out at the moment just to get a little bit of my natural color back into this blonde and then we'll foil it again. I'm all ready to go. I'm just dressed comfortable. I'm wearing leggings. I'm wearing a really big jumper. This is a Mechaland jumper and it covers my bum because I don't like wearing leggings um, with a short top because no one wants to see the shape of my vagina. Um, <laughs> and then I've got just this big ass scarf because it is fucking cold this weekend. It's like really, 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 really cold here in Melbourne. I'm pretty sure it's cold everywhere. There's just like a big, is it a cold front? Is that what people call it? That's come through. So yeah, I'm just going to put on some shoes and we'll go. I don't know how much I'll film in there because I am alone and I don't like vlogging alone. I get really <laughs> camera shy and nervous. Okay, I just pulled up at home. I didn't film anything down at the shops. Everyone was completely feral. Like it was so busy, so many people. I should have known better, it's Saturday. And you know, people just go out and about and do stuff just like I do. It was just so crowded trying to get through Kmart with the trolley. I didn't get everything I wanted from Kmart, unfortunately, because it didn't all fit in the trolley. And I was like, I'm not fucking going back in, fuck that. Because I already had to go out and then go back in to go into the supermarket. So I wasn't doing that three times. I didn't get my poof that I wanted. You know, the little like poofs that people can sit on or put their feet on. They had like a crocheted one and they've been out of stock. And when I was there, they were in stock and I was just like, out of all times, it's fucking here and available. I can't fit it in my trolley. I wanted to get a lamp as well, but that couldn't fit in the trolley either. So I just went in, got out, took my stuff to the car and went to the supermarket. I bought a lot of junk food. I shouldn't have done that. It's because I'm home by myself and Jared is away this weekend. I don't know if I said that before. So I got like all my Coke and I got my hot chips. I bought my air fryer, so I'm going to cook hot chips, but not right now because I put Subway for myself, you know, treat yourself. I don't know how well this camera's gonna stay up, but I'm going to eat my Subway. This vlog has turned into a mukbang now. Oh my God, it looks so juicy. Look at that, look at it. They bloody got rid of my um, Thousand Island dressing. I was so angry. So I got um, the Chipotle Southwest sauce and I got mayo and I got teriyaki chicken. I got pineapple as well. I know some people hate pineapple and stuff. I love it. I'm inside. I just brought all the Kmart stuff in. Um, the weather's starting to turn outside, so it started raining and it is bloody cold out there. Okay, I guess I'll show you what I got. I actually didn't get that much because the air fryer that you're sitting on at the moment took up the most room in the trolley, which is very annoying, but I can't wait to use this air fryer. Um, I bought some pillows. I got some cheapy ones. I'm pretty sure this was $10 for two. So that's $5 a pillow. Um, I just wanted some extra ones to put on the bed just for like decoration. <laughs> um, and yeah, we've only got like two pillows, two European pillows, which are the big square ones and then some like little pillows. But I wanted like another set of the long ones. So got two of these. I got this crocheted pillow that almost matches that crocheted poof that I wanted to get. I kind of want to change the theme of the bed, even though the bed is black leather, which I don't like. I feel like that was like so in years ago, but I really want to change our bed. I want like a wooden bed, but yeah, I got this to put on the bed. I like panicked for a second and thought I didn't get a queen sheet set. I was like, fuck. Um, yeah, I've got a queen sheet set, it comes with two pillow covers as well, just a white one. And then I also got this queen quilt cover set and it's kind of grey with like a little bit of um, mustard mixed in with it. Again, just something cheap, affordable that I can put on the bed. I picked up more of this cosmetic brush cleaner, it's by Be Me. 
I really like this. It cleans the brushes really well if you just want to do like a spot clean. The only thing is um, the pump on mine broke last time. I don't know if it was just that time, but I guess we'll find out if this one breaks as well. The last two things I got were the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Um, this is what it looks like. Apparently it's really, really nice. It's not as drying as Tarte Shape Tape, but it still has really, really good coverage. They were $10 each, which is still like steep for e.l.f., I reckon, but I'm Australian, so what do I expect? The shades I've got are Light Sand and Light Peach. Light Peach is quite fair, but we'll see how they are. I picked these up because I watch um, Tanika John on YouTube. I'll leave a channel down below. She does really good videos for fair skin um, and she loves this concealer so I thought I would buy it. I've set my um, air fryer up. I've got it at 200 degrees and I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. I'm going to put my chips in now. I'm going to put some sweet potato chips. These are the ones I'm going to use. These are the McCain's sweet potato, rosemary and garlic chips because who doesn't love garlic? Everyone loves garlic. So I just realized I totally forgot to show you guys the chips that I made. Yeah, I obviously was looking forward to eating them so much I forgot to show you what they look like. But oh my god, they were so good. And putting them in the air fryer, they just go so like nice and crunchy. I really, really like crunchy chips that are like soft in the middle. And it did the most perfect job. I ate them all so quickly. It's a really good air fryer from what I've used so far. I'm giving like my air fryer review. Um, I think I paid $69 from Kmart and it seems to do the job. And I've heard people can make like pavlovas in there, which is insane. It's currently 9 p.m. I think I need to take off my makeup. It's just rubbing off everywhere because like I wiped my nose like that. And I've also got this like pimple that's growing underneath. And it's just one of those hard ones that I'm not going to be able to pop. It's just going to hurt and feel like I've been punched in the forehead. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this vlog. Like I just feel like I've been sitting in different parts of my house talking to you guys. Yeah, but I just kind of felt like filming something a little bit different. There was one more thing I wanted to mention just in case you guys didn't see my YouTube post or any of my Instagram posts. I am starting a nail course, not next week, the week after. So I'm going to learn how to do acrylic and SNS nails. I am so excited to learn something new. Depending how it goes um, and if I can film there, I will bring my camera along and I'll show you guys like things that I'm going to learn and practice, which is so exciting. I can't wait. I'm like hanging out to do something different. I don't really know where it's going to take me. Like I'm just going to do it and go with the flow. If I get good enough, then maybe I can start doing people's nails. I'm not sure. I don't really have a game plan. I just know I've always been interested in nails. I always watch nail videos as well, like people doing acrylics and encapsulated nails where they put like the design inside the nail. Like it's so awesome. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, but I think I'm going to leave this video here. I don't really have anything else to show you guys, but hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye.